So this is the search CPAN org website. This is the old search inter interface of CPAN. It still has a much more uh, a couple of uh, features that uh, Meta CPAN doesn't have. So I'm going to show both of them. The way you do you search here is you have this search box here, and then uh, you can search either for everything or just for the modules or or the distribution. So every module is in a distribution and in one distribution there can be several modules and then you can also search by the name of the author and uh, there are these links for uh, categories but I don't think that they are very much maintained so the best thing is try to uh, search here so let's say you are trying to do let's say Telnet and then you type in Telnet and uh, do the search and for some reason it takes some time for me but it, I'm probably on a slow connection so you get uh, a couple of listings here and um, here what you see is uh, this is the name of the module that fit ma matched somehow uh, description of the module and the, the name of the package that this module lives in here you can see a couple of stars that are coming from a di separate site I'll explain them uh, where in the, on that site you can also fill out some reviews it's just like Amazon but we have a little less reviews here this is the release date and um, that's a funny thing because it's almost 10 years now and uh, it sounds for many people it would th seem that oh it's it's an old thing uh, probably no one should use it but specifically this module uh, has been working since then I think there are very few reported bugs in it and no one um, had the need to upgrade it so that's just to works but that I know from personal experience and a uh, new user unfortunately cannot uh, know that so and but that's it that's uh, an issue here and the, this is the, the author who uploaded the re last ver the re most recent version of this uh, this module then you can see other modules that matched somehow and uh, you can uh, think maybe one of them uh, fits better because maybe because this is newer but uh, it probably does something uh, slightly different. We can try. You can try and uh, see um, whether it's uh, relevant to, to you. And uh, then, for example, there is a regex, something with regular expressions uh, that also has some tanet in in the title. So the search found it. But let's go back to this module. So when you click on the name of the module you will see the documentation of this module. So th this part is extracted from the real documentation just links to the real part here this is the description uh, one-liner of the module then the syn synopsis usually in the synopsis you have a little bit more uh, description or example of how to use the module this is a as I told you a very old uh, release so no one uh, fixed uh, no one uh, added more examples and then you have the description and the description here well in this case you have an example here uh, the description goes all the way and uh, explains you various methods all the methods and uh, how the mod module could be used what else is there so that's uh, the module now you, you can click here and you can see the actual source code of the module itself when that's interesting for now we don't care about it uh, there is a link to download it but that's only needed if you want to install it manually normally you wouldn't need to download the module with this link but we'll see how you can install it with uh, the various uh, tools to, to install dependencies if you click on the, this link you will see what modules uh, what our mo modules are used by this so if you install the net telnet you will need all those modules uh, annotate this pod allows you to add more documentation to this uh, module that's a very nice website though I think uh, today there are different ways to to help with this uh, with such a module though again uh, this is an old module no one probably will um, upload a new version just to add a couple of lines in the documentation so probably it's better to annotate this way the, mo the, the module then there are a couple of related modules uh, fetched somehow from Perlmonks and uh, the CPAN RT this is the request tracker of uh, CPAN where the, the bugs are requests are 
so it says there are altogether 15 and you can click here and see the, the box we'll go there a little bit later so this is the module itself but the module lives in a distribution and this is the distri distribution as you can see this is called similar just it has a dash in there and it uh, usually has the version number at the end so this is the version number of the distribution here at the main uh, so this page uh, is about the distribution uh, what you can see here is the name and then you can drill down for older versions even older versions well it's especially interesting for modules that upgrade frequently again the link to download or a link to browse on site the source code neither of them is really interesting at this point uh, then uh, there are a couple of links so there's a discussion forum where you can ask questions about specifically about this module here is the link to the bugs again uh, links to dependencies and a couple of other tools and uh, now these so when you install a module you automatically run all the unit tests that come with the module and then some people configure their system to report back those m test reports the test results to a central database and from that central da database you get this information now this information tells you that there were like 3,000 and uh, some 200 reports about this uh, specific module. Two of them were somehow uh, unknown, some problem probably with the test system, but all of them passed. Now this looks really, really good, but uh, specifically if you look at the test suite of this module, you will see that it's almost empty, it's just a trivial test. So in this case, it's, it doesn't have much meaning that everything is just passing but uh, in other modules that will be interesting to see how many uh, passes it gets and how many failures and then you can get to the actual reports of these modules i mentioned the rating there's a rating there's a separate site called cpan ratings and uh, you have the it, it got f four reviews and the four stars so apparently it's a good uh, module you can click through here and uh, see what the reviewers said License unknown. Uh, this is unknown because this information is fetched from a file called MetaYAML or MetaJSON, and this module appar apparently doesn't have the file, probably because it's an old upload. So is the license is just unknown for that reason. Uh, the real license should be inside the source code anyway. So you should look at the source code and see what the license is there. Then these files are already from the distribution itself, so the change log, the manifest, we mentioned them when we were talking about how to package a module, so these files are from there. And this is the list of the modules that in are in this distribution. In this case there is only one module. We'll come back and see other modules later. This was just an overview about uh, how the search CPAN interface shows you the, about the distribution.